everybody and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be filming another body shop video they are the most popular videos on my channel by an absolute mile so i kind of want to film one once a week or at least once every two weeks and i haven't done one in a little while so i came up with the idea yesterday to review the majority of the face masks that the body shop does actually sell because i've tried the majority of their face masks i've literally tried most of them the ones that i haven't tried are either ones that were out of stock when i wanted to buy them or don't really fit in with the kind of vibe that i'm going for or i already have too many which is probably the final thing that i said is the correct answer definitely have too many but i am actually getting to the point where i'm starting to run out of face masks i do have one empty here and a few of them are very nearly empty if not basically one more use so i thought that i would show you them give my review of them what's good what's not good what skin types are they for and do i like them etc so let's get into the video by the way if you like body shop videos please subscribe because that's obviously the content that i make quite often because i do have a lot of their products and i do reviews of specific ranges and top five products blah blah blah. like i do loads of different videos so please subscribe so i'm gonna start off with a face mask that's not really like a traditional face mask this is actually one for like an overnight kind of mask this is the vitamin e skin in moisture sleeping mask so this is a mask that's from their vitamin e range which is more about kind of hydration and softening the skin i do really love the products from that particular range the moisturizer is great the cleanser is really nice so they've got some great products from that range but this in particular isn't something that I actually use overnight. If I've not got my makeup on in the daytime and I'm going for a day, which is probably like two or three times a week, I won't wear makeup, then I will throw this on my face after I've done my skincare. So it's like a, a face mask for the daytime when I'm not wearing makeup. And it just means that my skin has that like extra time to get really soft throughout the day. And I just really like this one. Obviously it would be really good to use as like a night mask as well. This is what it looks like on the inside. So it's quite a thick consistency. Like it is a thick mask type thing. You can rub it in as if it's a moisturizer. Like you can't see it on your skin. It doesn't look like you put a mask on so you can just go out in the day with this on your skin and people wouldn't even notice your skin would just look quite glowy and soft so yeah this is a really good one would i rebuy this i don't know yes probably is it like amazing no but it is really good it does make my skin nice and soft and it does what it says but is it sort of my kind of vibe like there's other products out there that maybe i would rather have so i would probably rate this product a seven to eight out of ten and i'm not going to rebuy it but for some people this would be a really great product to get i'm just going to go by what's on their website as well as to what face masks they've got and i'm going to talk about the ones that i haven't tried as well but i'm not going to review them i'm just going to say what they are then we have this this is from their tea tree range this is the tea tree skin clearing clay mask now this is very kind of near to the end this is something that i mentioned in a video i filmed recently which was reviewing the tea tree range at the body shop i will link it in the description if you want to go and watch that video but i did review that in that video and basically it's a clay mask it doesn't set completely like a clay sort of product does i have a face mask on my own website which i will link in the description if you want to check out my website but that does set completely like you can see a difference and you feel really tight like your face feels really tight like it can't move however this product doesn't really do that like it sets a little bit but it doesn't have that kind of like really tight aspect to it which I kind of like when it comes to face masks but I did like this it did clear my skin you know after using it for a few times it is good for if you've got a few spots to clear your skin this in particular is a good mask it's really silky like a really silky consistency and it looks good on the skin in terms of like when using the face mask it just looks fun to put on and that kind of thing so yeah this is a nice mask i would rate this an 8 out of 10 would i repurchase no solid like solemnly for the fact that i like masks that really kind of like i don't know like my face mask on my website or like a mask that i will show you in a second that they also sell on you know the body shop's website okay the next one which is also from their tea tree range this is the tea tree anti-imperfection night mask this is an empty product i have used this up there is nothing in there it's like a gel kind of consistency when you actually look what's inside it is more of a gel consistency and it has a strong tea tree smell again i reviewed this in my tea tree range review video so again go and look at that if you would like to see the other products 
but basically this is meant to go on your skin at night you're meant to put it on after about 15 minutes just rub a little bit off but leave the majority of it on the main reasons why I'm not going to repurchase this and I am going to rate it probably a 5 out of 10 is because it kind of sticks to your pillow like if you're sleeping it does stick to your pillow really skincare shouldn't be sticking to your pillows or anything like that like you'll feel it on your skin but not like an actual like sticky you know product so i don't really like that also it's a strong smell of tea tree and to go to sleep with you know tea tree all over your face not just on specific areas is quite strong so i don't really like this for that and also i didn't find that it you know got rid of my spots as well as just pure tea tree oil which i do also have on my website but I find just normal pure tea tree oil does the trick. You don't need things like this. Another face mask, which I can't actually show you because I ran out of it months and months ago and I threw out the actual like empty product, which I'm kind of annoyed at because I tend to not throw out my empty body shop products these days. But it is the Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. This is probably my favorite mask that they sell full stop like it honestly is one of the best masks or if not the best mask I've ever tried I don't know it's just something about it like you put it onto your skin and the smell is so nice it sets on your skin which is what I always look for in a mask a clay mask is that it sets your skin sets on your skin and your skin feels really tight and I just feel like my skin is so clean and clear after using that so I am 100% gonna rebuy this one it's definitely probably my favorite mask ever especially my favorite mask off of their website and yeah i really really love that one. Oh, by the way i should probably have mentioned i still have a cold so if my voice is a bit weird that's why but yeah love that one i would rate that a 10 out of 10 that's a really really good one and i'm definitely going to be rebuying it when i get my student money i'm going to rebuy one of those because I loved it and I always got excited to use it and I think if you get excited to use a product that means that it's good or you know even if it's not good but if you still get excited to use it sorry I'm just moving my feet if you still get excited to use a product then it benefits your life you know you're excited to use it you're getting enjoyment from something whether it does something or not and I'm sure that that did do some good to my skin anyway. The next one that I can see is on here is the Ethiopian Honey Nourishing Mask. Now I swear that that actually went out of stock. Like is that just me? I don't know. Like I, when I was doing the body shop at home, which was quite a long time ago, like it's reaching on like three quarters of a year ago. I swear to God that went out of stock. I don't know. Somebody let me know, but I haven't tried that. And then the next one is the Chinese Ginseng and Rice Clarifying Mask. I think I have that. Yeah, I do. This is so cute. This is one of their like expert face masks that they have on the website, but it's a mini version. So they made little minis. I've got another one here, which I'll talk about in a second. But this is the kind of mask where I just wanted to try it in a mini. I didn't want to get a whole kind of big face mask. I just wanted the mini version just to kind of try it and see if I liked it. It was, like it said, like a rice kind of white oaty kind of feel. I don't know, like it, it was nice. I personally don't think that this is the kind of mask that I enjoy. It's not something that's, you know, benefiting my skin in terms of spots or hydrating my skin. I don't really know what it did. I did enjoy using it. I always enjoy a mask. I do a face mask every single day, a different one. But I don't think that it really did enough for me to be able to repurchase this and i would probably give this a five out of ten as well but i do think the yes, expert face masks are really good that the body shop sell next up we have another mini mask this is the british rose fresh plum pink mask this one i really actually did quite like i didn't think i would but i did really like this and i maybe would get like the bigger expert face mask kind of bottle but the reason why I like this is because I put it on and the smell of the, like the British rose smell is a, such a nice smell in general and it just is a nice experience to use a face mask but also my skin would feel really kind of plump and just hydrated and that's what I like in skincare is skincare that can make your skin glowy, hydrated, soft and like plump and it does say that it is like a plumping mask and I did you know I do actually vouch for that I do really like this I have the British Rose plumping toner and I really love that as well then they're just kind of like the hidden products that the body shop do that you wouldn't really think about but actually are really good so yeah I really like this one I'd rate it an 8 out of 10 will I rebuy this yes I think I will at some point in my life 
not necessarily immediately. Then we have another good one that I've actually tried and I've, I've got. This is the Japanese Matcha Tea Pollution Clearing Mask. So this one is amazing. I really love this. I'm just going to say it straight out. I love the bottle. I love the green. I think it aesthetically looks really nice. And the actual product, I nearly have run out. Like, can you see how close to running out I am? Like, I've literally got one more use. The smell of it is amazing. It literally reminds me of such a fresh kind of, I don't know what it is in it, but it's such a fresh smell, like almost minty. I don't know, is there mintiness? I'm not sure, but it does smell so, so fresh. When you put it on, you just feel like your skin is like getting a good clean and like it's, you know, doing good to your skin and it is, you know, clearing pollution or whatever. I don't know, it just feels like it because of the smell and it you know sinks into your skin actually like when you put it on it will be quite thick and then it does actually kind of sink into your skin so it does do some good and i really like this one it does feel really nice on the skin and it's so refreshing and helps to clear out spots and impurities and things and i think this is a really good one to go for if you're the kind of person that just likes more like refreshing face masks it doesn't set on the skin it just kind of more sinks into the skin so it's that kind of face mask really but i would recommend this i do love this i would rate this one an 8 out of 10 as well and will i buy this yes i will at some point in my life the next one is one that i haven't tried but again if you've tried it please let me know this is the medi Medita I was like Mediterranean like vegetarian Medi Mediterranean almond milk with oats instant smoothing soothing mask don't know why I can't speak but basically it's got almond milk in it and oats I haven't tried that one and I'm, I really want to I have a feeling it might be quite like a soothing like hydrating kind of product that you know it's soft it's kind of skin softening so I kind of feel like that might be something good to go for for me but that might be something good to try so I think what I'm gonna do is at some point you know when I've got sort of money to waste or I've got money that I don't need to keep I will get an expert like I'll get one of the mini the mini masks of that product if they do it if they don't then Fair enough, maybe I'll have to try the bigger one in the future. But I'm just kind of trying to use up my masks a little bit before I buy any more. But I do love face masks so much. They're literally my favourite. If you want to get me any presents, please get me a face mask because... I really like them um i'm joking but well, i'm not joking that i like them i'm joking about the present thing um unless unless you want to this is the nick you Agu and coffee intense awakening mask now this is probably going to be like a love hate product because it is a coffee smell again i'm at the bottom of this i've nearly used up the entire like product but i think my mum's got this and she's not keen on it so i'll probably use what she's got but i love this mask i really really love this mask it is very softening and glowy like glowifying it is that a word i don't know but it makes your skin glowy i well what i'll do is grab some of this put it on my skin don't just like place it on like rub it in to your skin because it's got little kind of coffee particles in it which is like an exfoliator so you can kind of exfoliate your skin at the same time you know get the product into your skin and then i will leave it on for about 15 20 minutes take it off and genuinely my skin is glowing after using like a clay face mask your skin is usually kind of stripped back of all oils and everything and it's quite dry whereas something like this makes your skin super hydrated and glowy and yeah i really agree that this is an awakening mask because it does make your skin look so nice and glowy and it did take me a little while for me to really kind of understand how good this product actually is but now i really love it and i would rate this product a 9 out of 10 which is a good that's a good score and i would 100 percent buy this again i do really like it the smell of coffee i really love so I do really love this mask and yeah, I would recommend if you don't like the smell of coffee, I wouldn't recommend because it's so strong of coffee, but it's a nice mask. And then finally, they probably have, um, actually they do have another mask that, that's not included on their website. They've got a tea tree peel off mask. It's basically in a little kind of tub and it's a powder it's five pounds i can't remember the name i'm really sorry but i'll try and leave the picture on the screen and you just add water to it and then you mix it around you put it on your skin it sets and it's like a kind of jelly almost you can almost pull the whole face mask off in one it's so fun to use i would say that has less skincare benefits than it does just being like a fun product to use but it is fun to use it would be good as a gift and then finally when it comes to like actual physical products that i can show you this here this is an absolute winner like this is such a great product if you haven't tried this go and try it this is the hemp overnight nourishing rescue mask 
Again, I don't use it overnight. I don't like using products like too much overnight if they're gonna, you know, get on my pillow or anything. But this is something that I would leave on for an hour. Now, I did say this in one of my previous videos ages ago when this product launched. I think I did a video talking about the launch of this product. And somebody had a go at me for saying and recommending, or not recommending, but for saying that I use it for an hour. This is not a clay face mask. It is not gonna do damage to my skin if it's left on for really long. It's not gonna strip anything out. It's a hydrating face mask. It's safe to use this for an hour. You are meant to use this overnight. Yes, I know that you are meant to put it on and then take a little bit off before you go to sleep, but one hour is absolutely fine for something that's so hydrating to your skin, that softens the skin. It's not stripping your skin of everything, anything. It's adding things, you know, it's a really great product. And honestly, it does make my skin so soft. I look forward to using this. The consistency of it is so nice on the inside. It's like a green kind of shiny consistency. And even before I first bought this, I knew that it would be good because the Body Shop's hemp range has been, you know, raved about anyway. But yeah, it really does work 100%. If you've got dry skin, give this a try, use it a few times, get to know it, and it really is good. I would rate this a 10 out of 10, and yes, I am gonna rebuy this, and yeah. I might actually use this tonight. Or oh, did I use this yesterday? No, I used this yesterday, so I won't use this tonight. Which one am I gonna use tonight? I think I might use my own face mask tonight from my website, which is out of stock, unfortunately. I think that's everything they have I'm looking on their website at like the list of the ones on here but they've definitely missed a few off on the website that they actually you know have which is quite funny how I would know that even though I'm not the body shop and um, so I'm sorry if I missed any off that you were like looking for but yeah that's my little roundup I think my favorite mask is the Himalayan charcoal one for like getting rid of impurities and clearing my skin and then the hemp mask for hydrating the skin and softening it is a really great one. Oh, and also I really love the coffee one as well. I just love them all. But thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe for more videos like this, more body shop videos. Hopefully you have a good day. Give the video a thumbs up as well, just a little cheeky like. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.